All right, so I'm going to bring us into the seven questions with my sweet radio voice. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. Oh, <laughs> you built it up for nothing. Wasn't that amazing? Hey, uh, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, lovely. How are you? I'm good. Welcome, everybody, to What's Your Bacon in Seven Questions, Bing. where we distill the meaning of life and the meaning of everything important down to just seven questions. We started at how many questions? It was 13,756. <laughs> Correct. Brought down to seven. That took us a good day. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so now we're down to seven. And our guests in the hot seat today is the band GFM from Florida. Ladies, how are you? We are good. Ooh. We're cold. It's cold. Now. <laughs> I you know is, they, they're coming to us from Florida, right? I want to feel bad, but it's like it's like in the teens here. Yeah, how cold wow. is it there? It's like so, sixty something. No, no, no. It's more than sixty today. It's it, like 50 it was degrees. weird. It was like eighty on Friday, and then Saturday and today it just randomly got to like the forties or fifties, just out of nowhere. I stopped feeling bad for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel nothing. I did. I feel nothing. But <laughs> what we're going to do, things are going to heat up because we got the second seven questions of death oh, yeah, no. on tap for you. Uh, so are you ready to start answering so our listeners get to know the nooks and crannies of the band GFM? Yeah. I'm yes. afraid to say yes. <laughs> I don't like the way you start. You, you, you should be. be. <laughs> if you're not afraid, you will be. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's start. Let's. Let's get right in there. Remember, these are super important, so take your time. Uh, everybody can answer on their own. You don't have to have a collective answer because people are different here, and we celebrate the differences of people. So question number one, how many pillows is too many? Oh, it changes for us. Maggie, <laughs> we're in her room. Okay, her so bed, she has I, at least 100 stuffed animals on her those bed. Those are not pillows, though. I they feel like are the one is pillows. enough. One, well, one is enough for me. Yo. I, I got, cannot do more than one pillow. I got two behind my head, one on my left side, one on my right <laughs> side, and then if I'm cold, one on top of my feet. So we are surrounded by pillows. So that's All right. that's that's one, four, two, four, six, six. <laughs> well, eight, I seven. Just carry the one, yeah. carry the two. Two. And if two. I'm feeling like you know, I should have one to hug to fall asleep to. Nah, I I do one pillow. Oh, well, you guys are on the road, so you got to be. But lots of stuffed animals. If the stuffed animals are gone, are we still a one pillow? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, when you're on the road, do you, do you, you know, like Lulu, do you take all those pillows? You no. Know, when we're on the road, I get one pillow and then I bring like one giant stuffed animal to like make up for all the other ones. Right. I bring okay. my own pillow on tour. So she gets my pillow at the hotel. I will say oh, hotel, pillows okay. don't count. hotel pillows are like imaginary. They're all like in your brain. There's literally yeah, they're nothing. Terrible. <laughs> they're they're literally like holograms. Sometimes so. they're good. But, it, but if we're talking about like tour, we got to stop, shower, get out. Those kind of hotels, no. Those yeah, no, they, yeah, you're right. They don't also, exist. Bring your own. Bring in the van or in bunks, like you can only really have one. I'm gonna be honest. It's a sacrifice. I'm you get like a really tour. expensive pillow. You know, we're not I'm, there yet, but I'm, I'm willing day. to like <laughs> make that sacrifice. For yeah, our the our memory family. foam comes when you when you hit uh, a million downloads. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's oh. when the memory foam is uh, available to you. Oh, okay. Before that, that's it's just roll up a hoodie. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. I've had some good naps on a rolled up hoodie. Not going to lie. Uh, as have we all. We, yeah. yeah. As have we all. All right. Question number two. What is the perfect pizza order? Ooh. Well, they're both lactose intolerant. <laughs> so, and gluten um, intolerant. And gluten intolerant. Yo, I get some pepperoni. <laughs> I'm the only one that can be. Unfortunately, mine is a gluten-free oh, vegan oh, cheese oh, beet lover. Live your life, brother. Because gluten-free crust, the ones that I've had cannot compare to real <laughs> pizza crust. I will do you say, get with the gluten-free or do you get like the cauliflower crust? I've tried both. I found the gluten free is better than cauliflower just because it gets really soggy after a while. I would right. say our pizza, we played a show and we got um, to create a pizza and it is the GFM ZA yeah. and it's available and we got it and it's made with gluten free crust and vegan cheese. And that one and that does sucker taste taste like 
for real, for real pizza. And they had like thick crust and everything. That's the only gluten free pizza crust that has ever been puffy and that I've ever had. So that one was. She just had the best order though. She's the one who can eat whatever she wants. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say now that now that we have now that we have theirs out of the way, CG, what's the perfect pizza? <laughs> what, what is the best one? <laughs> what's the real like real life order? What do real people want to eat? I barely get to eat pizza because y'all don't get to eat pizza. So I just get what I can get. So I just I. I scavenge. So I, if I get a pepperoni, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take a pepperoni. If I get sausage, I'll take what it. What would you like want on your favorite pizza, though? <sighs> but I'm simple, though. Like, I like, like sausage Hawaiian pizza. pizza. Sausage pizza? Yeah. CJ is a fan of Hawaiian pizza. I do. I do like it. Nice. I will taste the best. I'll, I'll, take, like I'll take sausages or pepperoni. Well, one of our philosophies here is, is this. If, if your regular pizza is no good, don't you can't polish a turd. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't put stuff on it. That's true. Right. Paint a trash can gold, it's still a trash can. Right. Yeah. True. Exactly. True. But hey, a trash can is a raccoon's favorite thing. So mm-hmm. it's all one a man's pers- trash is another man's trash. All perspective. One man's trash is a raccoon's dinner. It's yeah, true. there you go. It's a buffet. All right. Question number three. Here we go. All right. True or false? True or false question. Oh, oh. I'm in school. I'm scared. Cereal is a soup. True. We had this conversation. We uh, had this Did we decide true? It was true. like a cold soup. It's cold Cereal soup. Cereal cold soup and a hot dog is a Mexican American sandwich. taco. American taco, yeah. American taco. American taco. Okay. Oh, okay. We, we, we went with sandwich. I but, went with but sandwich. American taco. But is a taco a sandwich? Sure. Why not? <laughs> sure. Perspective. Just in a yeah. different. It's, it's like a calzone. a calzone is a ravioli. It's a giant yeah. ravioli. It's a ravioli. A pop tart that's savory. Ew. Oh. <laughs> I mean, See, I like go. it. I like it. Pushing the boundaries here. I'm, I'm a fan. All right. Question number four: Gift cards. Great gift idea or lame gift idea? It, great. I think it depends on the person giving it to you. Oh. If, if it's like, if they know this is something you really. Like, like they really, you literally like the store, but they're like, I'm not going to get you something that you're just going to waste your time on, like never use again. Here's a gift card. That was really thoughtful of you. Thank you. Cause I know that you would not have gotten me the right thing, but if they're just like, Oh, here's a gift card. You suck. You could have done better. <laughs> no. Okay. That is my Listen, give me all the, give me all the gift cards. You want. I do. I do love oh, gift yeah. cards though. If you want to just give me free money, that's great. But <laughs> all my spends the same. If you know a hundred percent, like I sent you directly, get me this for my birthday. And they're like, nah, I'll get you a gift card instead. All right. I gave you exact orders. Okay. <laughs> you had one job to do. So, yeah. so if given orders, then the gift card is lame. <laughs> yeah. I I don't give orders. I don't I don't give orders either. You give orders for your birthday? Christmas Christmas and birthday orders? Here's what you will be getting me. Check this out, guys. Here's the plan. You are going to give me this. You are going to give me this. And if any of you bring a gift card, you are no you longer a part of my family. Get what you want. Listen, though. I'm not a big gift person. So when I find something that I actually want, I have to let people know because I every time they ask me and they're like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I don't know. So the second I find something, I have to be like, okay, I found something. Don't let me forget so, it. So Maggie, do you hate surprises? Or No, I love surprises. <laughs> I just don't like She's getting very things. Difficult. <laughs> she is the family um, <laughs> of the female. <laughs> I love to be surprised, but I don't like <laughs> getting things. <laughs> she said, okay. No, no, just confusing. <laughs> so is that the consensus? Everybody, everybody agrees. Meh. Meh. It, it depends on the person giving. I it to think you. they're great. Except for Lulu, Lulu's like, "Give me all the Bro, gift cards." We have so many like fans come up to us okay, and give so us gift cards. That's on different, the road. though. That's, that's so different. Thoughtful. If they're they like, fans are gonna give us gift cards to like food places or yeah, other stuff, that's such a thoughtful gift. Give them all to me. I love you. <laughs> you sound so demanding. <laughs> Waffle House gift cards are amazing on the road. Yeah. Wawa gift Waffle cards. House. Taco Waffle Bell House gift is- cards. Chick Fil A. Visas, yeah. Chick Fil A, but but the worst is when oh, you're ready for Chick Fil A. You're like, oh, let's Sunday. go. It's Sunday. <laughs> True discipline, right there. To train because especially not to you don't know what day it is on tour, and so you're like, oh yeah, they'll be open, and you'd go in their clothes, and you're just like, it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. It, it it really is. That is the worst. Good marketing. Who likes rules? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What number is Mike thinking of? 26. What about a good, like, 
three two. <laughs> I was gonna say forty two. Kind of close. To it's what like no four point three one. This is a good guess. I like the fractions. I like the decimal mm -hmm. point uh, idea. You never know. You look like a kind of like a decimal kind of. <laughs> you look like a decimal kind of guy. Okay. What is your go-to jukebox pick? Yeah. Jukebox. Uh, what's, uh, what's a jukebox? Stop. Like a, like a stop. <laughs> stop. You Back in the olden days, before. if you go into a diner and there's a little thing next to no, you on the diner that will play music. Waffle House. They have that Waffle, Waffle House. House. Oh, man. oh yeah, uh, they do. Celine uh, Dion. Uh, believe no, I was going to say Believe My Share. You my stole my share. answer. That's the a solid choice. Both solid choices. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. All We're right. already at seven. We're at question number seven now. Now, this is an important one because question seven determines whether you guys qualify for the bonus question. Oh, oh. snap. I'm very competitive. Right? So <laughs> here's gonna... here's so because you're competitive, I will let you know a little behind the scenes here. No one has ever not qualified for the bonus question. So don't mess this up. So if you mess this no, up, you, will be the, you would be the first. Right. Well, now you made me nervous. I'm and sure. there's three of you. <laughs> so just don't do answer I, right away. Definitely I, go with the gut, but don't answer right wait, away. Wait, but don't hesitate at all. Right. right. Okay. Right. Can we have like a group discussion before we answer? Or is it absolutely. Wait, yes, yes, yes. absolutely. We're like, okay, we're ready. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> all right. CJ, Maggie, Lulu, GFM. <laughs> That's our names. How do you guys feel about garden gnomes? Okay. We love garden gnomes. Well, you were not supposed to answer. Hang on. We I love them. them. We love I garden. I have garden no, gnomes. No, no, no. But we love them in a different way. Because we grew up playing Left for Dead. And there is a Dude, garden dead. gnome you can win in the game. And you can mm -hmm. hit zombies with it and kill the zombies with them. And so that's, know me. We have Which is a, fantastic, I right. guess. Yeah, we have like an <laughs> otherworldly obsession with gnomes. So anytime we see them, that is immediately what we think of. And we go, it's gnome And you have to pick it up and we have to send a picture to our cousins because it's or a zombie it. killing machine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a protector. Yeah. yeah. It is. It really and is. And a zombie killing machine. Yeah. And a killing machine. I, <laughs> we've never had them been be called a killing machine. Yeah, first time for that answer. First time for everything. So I think that gets them the bonus question. I love it. You get the bonus question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We've got another multiple choice here. Yep. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Or is it a main course? Is all of the above the answer? Be all of the above. Correct answer, ladies. Nice job thinking outside the box. Yes. <laughs> and for that, you guys have won nothing. But you get to hang out with us. For yes. a longer period of time, which I know you can't wait now. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this, you're in for more of it. If you hated this, we're sorry. Okay. Exactly. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but before we go, uh, just let everybody know, let the consumers of Bacon is My Podcast know where they can consume some GFM. Yeah, yep, what's all your social socials? Where can they find your music? All that good stuff. It's super easy. It's all the same because if it wasn't, we would forget it. It's all the GFM band on literally every single site, and even our go, website. You go to our website, it's all links. So yeah, you don't even have to. Super easy. You click on buttons. Are they have so more like pictures. Takes you. We have a QR code now. If you scan it, it goes there. It's floating around on social media. Worth the so. times. We don't have it right now, but we don't have it. You go ask for it. Like it's right here. Tattoo. Oh my god, we have a tattoo on our hands right here. Insert. That would be fantastic. You should. That was a joke. If it's not, you might consider it. <laughs> but we're on all social media, all digital download, everything. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, between now and then, check out GFM on the streaming musics and whatnot. Yep. Go check out, check the, out videos. the awesome videos. Go check out the videos on their and, YouTube page. And uh, till then, till Monday. Yeah. Make sure you ask yourself one very, very important question. It's the most important question. The most all. important question. What's your bacon? <laughs>